Type mo lang google.com and then click sign in. So dito since gagawa tayo ng panibagong account, i-click natin itong create account. Meron kang tatlong choices dito. So depende sa iyo kung alin yung pipiliin mo for myself or to manage my business. So in this tutorial, I will choose for myself. So dito, gagawa na tayo ng Google account. Just enter your first name, last name, and then your username. Tapos yung password and i-confirm mo yung password mo. Dito sa username, guys, you can create yung Gmail account na um, gagamitin mo sa yung business. So this will be your contact email or Gmail for your business if gagawa ka ng business. So here for example, to change ko yung username ko. For example, gagawa ako ng Gmail account for my video editing service. So, for example, this one, ang username ko is ProVideo. Oops, that username is taken. Try natin, lagyan ng page. Okay. Kapag wala na siyang red na lumalabas, so meaning wala pang gumagamit ng um, username na yan, so you can use it. Tips sa paggawa ng password, dapat hindi siya easy to remember or hindi yung common na ginagamit like yung birth date mo, first name mo, last name mo para mas secure yung account mo. So dapat ikaw lang yung nakakaalam. So it must have um, a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols and then 8 or more characters siya dapat and then click next once okay ka na ang susunod guys is that dapat mag provide ka ng phone number mo for verification so input natin sa recover email naman you can add this one kung mayroon ka ng existing na gmail account for me um, kung mayroon ka ng existing na gmail account i-add mo na siya lalo na if may personal gmail account ka na so yun yung ilagay mo just in case na malak or hindi mo ma-access ang Gmail na to, mayroon kang another way to access it. Once, okay na yung mga information natin dito, click mo na ang next. Verify your phone number. So, to make sure this number is yours, Google will send you a text message with a 6-digit verification code. Click mo lang itong send and then abang-abang ka na sa cellphone mo. Kung may magte-text, here you go. So, meron na siya, guys. Ayan. I hope you can see it. Ayan. Enter natin. And then, click verify. So, you can skip this one. Skip lang natin. And then, scroll down. And click I agree. So, next step. Ito na yun. Gagawa na tayo ng YouTube account mo. So, ayan ha. Once na click mo yung I agree, automatic na siya na magsa-sign in ka sa, sa yung Gmail account. And then, mag-open ka lang ng new tab. Punta ka sa youtube.com. Pagkapunta mo dito sa youtube.com, i-click mo lang itong sign in button. Click sign in. So, pagka-click mo nung sign in, automatic na nag-sign in ka na dyan. Okay? So, no need to input your Gmail and password. So, just in case naman na hindi ka nag-auto sign in, just input your Gmail and password. So, right now, once andito ka na sa YouTube, i-click mo lang itong profile picture mo sa upper right portion ng screen. And then, click mo itong create a channel. Click mo ito. So, dito guys, as you can see here, wala pa tayong picture. So, mamaya na lang yan. Kasi ngayon, gagawa tayo ng channel. Ito sa name. You can choose your default um, channel name, yung first name and last name. Pwede mo siyang gamitin. Ang tips ko dito guys sa paggawa ng channel name is that if meron ka ng existing na business at yun ang gagawin mo ng YouTube channel para lumago ang business mo, might as well, yun na din ang gagamitin mong channel name. Okay? Another tip sa paggawa ng YouTube channel name is that you can use your first name and last name or nickname and then your last name. Using your name as a channel name is a safe place for you. Lalo na if hindi ka pa sure sa mga gagawin mong content or just in case in the future mag-change ka ng niche. So this way, hindi mo na kailangan baguhin yung YouTube channel name mo. 
Another tip sa paggawa ng channel name is that gumawa ka na ng channel name based on the content that you are going to create. For example, mahilig ka sa travel. So, ipapangalan mo is uh, Marie Travels. Ganon. Another way naman, if wala ka talagang maisip na channel name for your YouTube channel is punta tayo dito sa business name generator. Check the description of this video. Lagay ko dun ang link ng website nito sa shopify.com. So, once andito ka na, you can click here, find a business name. So, dito, you need to describe your brand in one word. Ayan. For example, video. So, for example, may napili na ako, guys. I-rename ko lang dito. Video Masters. Once may napili ka na video name, click mo lang itong create channel. Ayan na. There you go. So, meron ka na channel, which is, ito yung panibagong channel natin, Video Masters. And then, as you can see here, wala pa tayong upload na video kasi kakagawa lang natin. You need to go here. Click mo itong profile picture. Go to your YouTube studio. May mga bagay lang tayong nagagawin, guys, bago tayong mag-upload ng video natin. And click continue. So, dito sa settings, settings, click mo siya. And then, channel. Click feature eligibility. So, makita mo dito sa intermediate features. So, if you want to upload videos that are longer than 15 minutes, custom thumbnails, live stream, appealing content ID claim. So, kailangan natin e-verify yung phone number. So, click verify phone number. Dito guys, kailangan natin i-verify yung phone number. So, you can choose between text, the verification code, or call. So, I choose text lang. And then, input natin yung phone number. And then, click get code. So, wait natin. Yan, may nag-text na. So, input natin yung na-receive natin na verification code. Once okay ka na, click submit. Phone number verified. Yay! Ayan. Verify phone number. Next is advanced features. Increase daily video uploads and live streams and eligibility to apply. So, ang requirements niya is intermediate features enabled. Video verification. Kahit alin dito, valid ID or channel history. Access features natin. Here you have uh, three choices on how to access the advanced features. One is to use video verification. Ayan. And use ID or build your channel history. For now, ang pipiliin ko is yung channel history ko. So, depende na yan sa'yo, okay? And, click natin yung next. And, click done. So, ayun, meron ka ng YouTube channel. Congratulations! This is your first step for your success here on YouTube. So, if you want to learn more yung mga YouTube tips and tutorials ko, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel para updated ka sa aking mga tutorial. Now, if you want to learn kung ano yung mga channel settings na kailangan mong baguhin bago ka mag-upload ng video, kailangan panoorin mo ang video na ito. So, ito yung mga YouTube settings na kailangan mong i-adjust ngayon. I will see you there.